I've been trying to establish a solid foundation of healthy habits, good routines, and just things to ground me and keep me on track as the winter will be approaching soon. Winter can be a hard time and that's totally okay, but that's why now is the time to get it together so you can be consistent and keep it up when other things might be a little bit harder. A little more down, a little more difficult. The winter weather and environment may not be ideal sometimes. I'm doing the free 14 day wellness reset challenge by You Aligned. Sometimes you just need a little reset and a little reminder. The challenge isn't about losing weight or an intense physical transformation, but it's a reset and reminder to incorporate daily movement, mindset practices, and good nutrition into your lifestyle. I'm someone who gets overwhelmed kind of easily and loves to be on the go, which is okay, but I just need to chill and take time for myself more often than I do. This wellness reset challenge is 14 days long and has yoga classes and meditation classes for every single day. Each day there's a different purpose to the class, which is really awesome because they all kind of add up to help you get to that well-rounded lifestyle and mindset. There's also a super helpful but also beginner friendly nutrition guide. There's different recommendations per dietary preference or if you're like me and you eat everything, there's stuff for that too. I love that the nutrition guide does highlight protein. It talks about protein, fiber, like a lot of different key nutrients, but you know, I start out with protein coffee every single morning, so I'm a big supporter in the whole protein thing. Right away, this is 25 grams I'm getting in, even before breakfast. So if my breakfast doesn't have an insane amount of protein in it, that's okay. This challenge has alternating guided yoga and meditation classes every day for two weeks. It's something that forces me to slow down, which I often need. A healthy lifestyle isn't just about lifting heavy weights and eating spinach, but also being well-rounded, and that includes your mental health. I mean, of course. These classes really tune into that, and that can help you refocus on your goals every single day. Nutrition can really be so overwhelming, and like, I don't fully know what I'm doing right to anybody ever, but I like that the nutrition plan, it gives you meal ideas, right, and if you you are like vegetarian, vegan, whatever, gluten-free, it separates it all, which is really nice. I personally don't follow any sort of diet, but it basically just promotes well-rounded eating, and I love that. It gives you a couple sources like, hey, magnesium's found in this, this, zinc is found in this, this. Like, it's a good go-to thing, but also it's just eat well-rounded. You need the protein, you need the carbs, you need the fats, and that's so true, and it's great to have variety, right? Right now, I'm really feeling like a whole egg mix type thing, but I also really want a smoothie bowl. So you know what, we're having bites of both. There's nothing wrong with that. Flavor your food, especially veggies. You're gonna wanna eat it more if it's actually flavored. Healthy eating can be good, just flavor it. Nutrient dense is really the whole point. This egg looks kind of sad, but it just wasn't my best egg cooking day. Cooked spinach is so much better than regular. Mm. Getting more veggies used to kind of stress me out because I thought like, okay, I had to have handfuls and handfuls of spinach, whatever, in my salad for lunch and I couldn't eat anything else. But what I find is a much better approach is just a little bit where you can have it. For example, a handful of spinach at breakfast. Maybe at lunch, have a side of whatever, you know? You don't have to dedicate like a full meal just to greens because then you're not gonna like it and it's gonna be harder to get in. You know, I think like a little wherever you can fit it is perfect. And if you want a couple different things, like have a couple different things. You don't have to have just the salad for lunch, right? You could have a side salad with something else, maybe a little bit more fun, maybe you like a little bit more. I love, love, love these smoothies. They're a really great source of carbs, but I was also kind of in the mood for eggs. So I was like, you know what? Let me do like a little bit of eggs and then a smoothie bowl. And this really isn't that much in here. I'm getting the best of both worlds. And of course I put in some nut butter in here for some protein and because it's so good. And I love that the nutrition plan is created by a registered dietitian, so I know I can trust it. And who doesn't love meal inspo, let's be real. I also find that it's easier to stick to habits when you do have a plan that you're following. It's day five and I feel like I have a lot more awareness, balancing and like hitting in the right direction. Like, I don't know. It is very grounding, especially because I don't usually take the time to do slow things like this and they are really good for you and they can help you in other areas, right? Like I've been really into strength training, but like stretching out and just familiarity that you get from things like yoga and, and even meditation, right? Like it helps you perform better in other areas, lifting or just literally daily life. Yes, this is a lifestyle, but if you're following a challenge, it helps a lot because you don't wanna miss a day or break the streak. Having the discipline to do these things regularly is hard and necessary. For today's lunch, we are taking inspiration from the meal ideas on Uline's nutrition guide. I'm throwing a fourth a cup, which is one serving of quinoa in my little rice cooker, added water, and let it 
set. Quinoa is a great source of fiber. It also has protein. It is a great food to incorporate. Into the quinoa bowl, I am gonna cook up some fresh kale. Just washed and cut it up with olive oil and some salt. So in the bowl, we have our quinoa, kale, I love cooked kale. Black beans for more protein and just cause they're good. Some salsa, avocado. When I think avocado, I always think healthy fat. Some lime juice. It would be great to add in like some fresh cilantro. I don't have any though. It looks good. It is well-rounded, it's nutritious. We got fats, protein, fiber. I'm sure there's some carbs in here. And it's colorful and that's how you know you're winning. That's good. I love the variety. Great lunch. I really just find the more variety I have in my foods, my meals, the less bored I'm gonna get of it and the more excited I'm gonna have it and obviously the more nutritional value with the more variety. But so it's good for a nutritional sense but also just like more enjoyable. Feel good practice of simply letting go. It starts with the breath, it moves into the body and it transcends to the mind. But it's fun to follow along and kind of feel like you're part of something. Yoga is something I don't typically do. I always just thought I don't have the patience for a slower class and that is not to say that it's easy at all. Today's class was actually really hard for me. It was 40 minutes long and I struggle with yoga as it is because it's so hard for me to just like relax and like enjoy it. Like I just, I don't know, it's hard. But that's part of this is the more you do it, the better it's supposed to be, right? The more you practice something, the easier it gets. Like the more you meditate, maybe the less your mind will race, like all of that. The poses were great, but just like the pace. I love how at the beginning and the end of a lot of these classes, there's always like a really good message. At the end of this one, she said like, it'll be there rooting for you and I'm like oh my gosh like I always say that full circle like touching home moment <laughs> another meal taking inspiration from the nutrition guide we are making a pasta I should probably fill this up <laughs> I'm gonna be using protein pasta. It's nice that you can get so many different types of noodles. You know, there's like the regular noodles, but there's also whole wheat, there's protein pasta, there's chickpea pasta, you know, you can change it up to get a different benefit. I wanted to do turkey meatballs in a red sauce, kind of like a spaghetti. However, I couldn't find them at the grocery store, so I just got regular ground turkey. It's super lean, which is great, and I'm just gonna cook this up in the pan. Instead of doing meatballs, I'm gonna kind of just throw it in the sauce. We are making a homemade sauce too. I have so many tomatoes I need to use up. Like I said, I need to use these up. So I wanna make a homemade tomato sauce. I don't really know how this is gonna go. I'm just gonna put these cut up tomatoes in the ninja with some garlic. It would be nice if I had basil, but hopefully the garlic is enough, cause I don't. And some cottage cheese. This does increase the protein, which is awesome. The sauce is clearly a little pink. Just the cottage cheese to tomato ratio. My plan, since I don't have meatballs, I'm just gonna mix the turkey in with the sauce, like a spaghetti. I'm gonna put it really low just so I can warm up. And if it's not flavorful enough, I always just add garlic salt. I feel like garlic salt makes everything better. I do wish this was a little bit thicker, but as it sits, it might thicken since there is some dairy with it. Otherwise I could add flour and stuff to thicken it. I was also thinking just for a little more nutritional value, let's cook some spinach in there. Like why not, honestly? See the spinach cooked down a lot, which is really nice. And some Parmesan cheese, of course. It looks fine. It would look better if it was more red. But obviously the sauce is super, super fresh, which I do really love. We got, again, a great variety in here. Honestly, not bad. You can really taste the fresh tomato. I think I just have to make the sauce a little bit thicker. Maybe it'd be better if I added some more seasonings. It's kind of cool making your own sauce, though. We have protein. We have a little bit of fat, some carbs, more greens. Well-rounded is the goal. Slow does not mean easy, but doing something out of my comfort zone helps me grow. It really helps me mentally as I'm trying to calm down my brain and just focus on my body and my movement. And it is really cool how she's your guide during the classes, but she's always encouraging you like, test this, try this, move around this, like peaking the curiosity in you. I wouldn't think to do that unless she prompted me. It just helps with awareness. It really helps build that mind-body connection. And of course, a lot of the poses and things you do in these yoga classes can be challenging. Breakfast today is overnight oats, which is not 
something I typically have for breakfast, but that's another part of why doing challenges and things like this is so good for you because it makes you try things that you don't normally have. There's banana in here, which is a great source of both potassium and magnesium. Oats, chia seeds are really good for you, and it puts cinnamon and peanut butter in there, so we do have some protein too. Oats are a good source of fiber, so we have fiber, we have protein, we have carbs, and good minerals too. Fun little breakfast and super easy to take with you on the go if you are on the go. You can really just pack so many good things in here. I also find that practicing things like yoga helps your mobility and can really help you in other areas too. Developing that mind-body connection and regularly practicing flexibility and different types of mobility can help you in your other workouts. For lunch, we're gonna do a fun avocado toast, but it's not just bread and avocado. You know, we need more than that. I love to do some sort of whole wheat bread. This one is sugar-free, which is a plus. First, avocado. And then I'm gonna actually throw some cottage cheese over top with the best seasoning. And we'll top it with arugula. I know it kind of looks like a mess, but we have carbs, we have healthy fats, we have protein, some veggies too. It's low sugar. Messy, <laughs> but good. It'll make my form better in strength training. and It'll probably even decrease risk of injury, which is great. I've never had to deal with injury and I don't want to, or plan to. No matter what your current lifestyle is like, it's always so good to slow down and take time for yourself. Setting intentions and making yourself take time to focus on your goals can really help you achieve them faster and better. Another dinner idea, I have pre-seasoned and marinated chicken and pre-cooked. It is Texas rub chicken thigh. One of the dinner ideas was kind of along the lines of like a chicken taco or maybe it was shrimp taco, something like that. I love seafood by the way. Don't forget about that as a protein. And so I'm gonna do just that, chicken tacos. However, I'm not using taco seasoning so maybe this is more of a wrap, but I have a good wheat tortilla here. Instead of sour cream, I like to just add plain Greek yogurt because it really tastes very similar. And this adds in some more protein too. Add in some chicken. Black beans, I'm gonna add a little salsa in here. Normally I like to top it with just regular lettuce, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna do some kale. Dinner slay. Join me and try this challenge out. Did I mention that it's free? It's available now on YouTube or on Ualigned. If you take it on Ualigned, you do get a free bonus class too. No need to sign up or commit to anything. So why not? What do you have to lose? It's just two weeks. Try this challenge with me. I will have a link in all the information in the description box, of course. And the hardest part to anything is usually starting. Consider this a kickstart to the winter and the rest of 2023. And remember, if you start something now, by the time January gets here, you'll be that much further Head for the start of 2024. You can walk into the new year feeling balanced and confident and more well-rounded. And after this challenge, if you want more from you aligned, you can get a free 30-day trial with my code. Everything is linked in the description box, of course. A big, big thank you to you aligned for partnering with me again and sponsoring this video and helping me slow down and work on that well-rounded, mindful lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're gonna join in on this challenge. And if you're watching this, you probably need it. Take the time for yourself. You don't do it enough. I love you, I'm rooting for you. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.